Hey YouTube, it's Robo13, and the 4.3.3 firmware just came out for um, all Apple devices that can support it, and I'll put the supported devices in the description. Um, but there's already a jailbreak for it, and it's just been a couple hours. So, but this is a tethered jailbreak, so you will have to rerun uh, Red Snow or another program to get it to reboot every time the battery goes dead or you turn it off or anything like that. But that's not a big deal. You at least have a updated uh, iOS device, and it's on, and it's jailbreak. So, um, what you're going to do is download. Red Snow 0.9.6 RC14. I'll have a link in the description for that. And you're also going to want to download what it's called is the uh, 4.3.2 iPod Restore uh, IPSW file. The 4.3.2, not the 4.3.3, because what you're going to do is you're going to point uh, Red Snow at the 4.3.2 firmware even though you're going to be on 4.3.3 okay so once you download both of those and you update your iPod or your iPhone or your iPad then you're ready to go all right so you're going to open up Red Snow the RC14 this is for Mac and Windows I'm running on Windows right now but this also works on Mac so you're going to come here click on browse and then search for the 4.3.2 IPSW file so I have it right here, 4.3.2, double click on that, it's going to say processing firmware. And you're going to want to have to have your iTunes completely updated to the newest iTunes, otherwise this won't work. So make sure that's just go into iTunes and click search for updates and you can update it if it's not updated already. And make sure you're on 4.3.3 firmware, just plug your iPod or iPhone or iPad into uh, the computer, you go to iTunes and click update. So you'll say it's identified, click next, and make sure you have an internet connection to your computer, obviously. So this will update patching kernel, preparing RAM disk, all of that. So you're going to want to click on install Cydia and anything else you want to. I'm going to click on enable battery percentage because I think that's helpful. Um, and I'll show you what the Just Boot Tethered right now means after the video is done because that has to do with a tethered jailbreak, which this is. So once you click what you want, click Next, and then you're going to turn your device off. Okay, so it's going to ask you to turn your device off and then click Next after it's, after it's plugged in and turned off. So I'm going to put this down and I'll come back. I'll come right back. So first tells you to turn off your iPods. So I'm going to hold in the top hold button and slide the power off okay now it's completely off and now it says click next and I'll run you through the steps so it says click next hold in the top power button for three seconds hold in the home and the power button for three or for ten seconds until it shuts off like that then release release the top corner button but keep holding the home button for another 15 seconds and this should put it into DFU mode. Just keep holding it. And now it'll say jailbreaking, waiting for iPod touch, exploiting with lime rain. And you should see your iPod flash white right there. Okay. And then you just gotta let it sit and it'll eventually pop up with this. This is downloading jailbreak data, uploading RAM disk, and that should be going up just like it is right now. <clears throat> just like that, it'll say uploading kernel. This is just all the jailbreak files. Now it says done. This is the rest of this process takes place on your device and all this code should be starting getting written on your device. Just let it sit. Okay, and then the jailbreak pineapple logo should show up. Let's see rebooting. 
And now the Apple logo should show up. Just like that. Slide to unlock. Scroll over. You'll have Cydia, but it will be a white square. So when you click on it, nothing will happen. It'll just open up and then close down again like that. So to fix that, now we're gonna use the Just Boot Tethered option right in here. So you're gonna close out of Red Snow, then go back into Red Snow. So rerun it. Okay, go through all these steps, browse, find the exact same 4.3.2 uh, file. Let it process it. Okay, click next, let it do this. Okay, and now when you get to this step, after you've already jailbroken it, you're gonna click uncheck install Cydia, and you're only gonna check just boot tethered right now. Okay, that one right there. So you're gonna check that and click next. Now I'll tell you to turn your iPod off. So once again, I'll show you the steps. Put this down really quick. Okay. So you're going to turn your device back off. Go through the exact same steps you went through earlier in the video. So after it's off, click Next. Hold the Home button for 3 seconds. Hold the Home and Power button for 10 seconds. And then release the power button, but keep holding the home button for 15 seconds. Okay. Uh, under the FU mode, it'll say jailbreaking. It'll run the firmware, or it'll run the uh, limeware. It'll run the lime wire uh, jailbreak so that it'll boot it again. This is uploading first stage. And you're just going to let it sit just like this until it reboots. And you should get the pineapple logo when it reboots. That's how you know it's jailbroken. It'll say done. The rest of the process takes place on your device. So now just wait for it to reboot. And every time you turn off your device or the air loses power or anything like that in order to uh, you might be able to turn it back on, but in order to use any of the Cydia and Jailbroken apps, you will have to rerun Red Snow and go through the Just Boot Tethered uh, option and just reboot it just like that. So now when you slide to unlock, go over, Cydia, click on it, Cydia will open up now. And it, it'll still, it might be a, might still be a white box like mine was, but that will eventually go away once everything syncs up with your iPod or your iPhone or your iPad. So it will go away eventually. Um, and if you open it up and, and it does that close thing again, it doesn't work, uh, rerun Red Snow again and go through the whole steps again and click on Just Boot Tether right now and make sure that's the only thing clicked and try it again. Um, it does work, I just showed you it worked. So try it again and it, and it should 100% work. Um, I'm not gonna let it finish doing this, but obviously it works, so I'm gonna show you guys that it is on 4.3.3 firmware. Just in case you don't believe me for whatever reason. Right there, 4.3.3 firmware, okay? All right, so this is the tethered jailbreak for the 4.3.3 firmware. I'll have links in the description for Red Snow and for the 4.3.2 firmware to download that. Um, if you have any questions, just post a comment below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. The untethered jailbreak should be out within the next couple, hopefully the next couple days. It might be a few weeks from now, though, um, until the untethered 4.3.3 jailbreak comes out. But it seems like these come out every every time there's an update. There's always a jailbreak right after. So uh, stay tuned for an untethered one. Uh, subscribe to me for new videos just like this and, for, and to get that new untethered jailbreak as soon as it comes out. All right. Thanks, guys.